Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day, having a great week. It's starting off uh, right with the weekend. So I'm pretty excited. The Super Mojave has finally taken a meal. It was alive, but nonetheless, she's finally eating again. There she is. It's been months since she's eaten. She's right around, well, she's probably lost a little bit of weight, but she was right at that 900 gram mark. Stopped eating everything that I gave her. And perfect, she's eating. So I moved her from up here. She was down here. The male banana clown has taken her spot. And just moving her just a couple shelves up, I don't know why, but she's eating. The banana clown has been eating phenomenally. So hopefully he keeps on eating. This is the ivory anchi pie and she just shed out. We got the female banana pied in shed. We got this gorgeous, just a regular old pastel pied. She looks phenomenal. And we got some good news. Oh, this one shed out. Look at her. Beautiful snake. It's a fire, fire anchi clown. Gorgeous animal. Um, some of these snakes are Shedding, I've been cleaning cages ever since I got off work. There's my poop pile if anybody cares, which I don't think you do. But this butter clown is in shed and she is right at 1300 grams, which is amazing. So I'm gonna start pairing uh, this banana clown because this dude's well over 500 grams. I'm just gonna put him in here just to see what goes on. Obviously, through the whole process, she's still gonna eat, she's still gonna gain weight. And they might not even do anything. So we'll see what happens with that. This way, this pastel clown, she's a little over 1,200 grams, so she's ready to be semi-paired. Uh, so hopefully they're around 1,500, 1,600, and you're still going to feed them. Uh, they're on medium rats. These ladies right here, as long, and with all the other 2020s, are on small rats. So they are going to be growing very quickly, which is exciting. The Orange Dream Leopard. Uh, the Leopard. Yeah, Enchi. Just a really, really nice snake. And he has uh, faded out since he, was a, since he was a baby, unfortunately. But that is pretty typical in the bull python world. So still looks really good. Um, he still needs some work. And for this girl right here, she needs to eat. She's a horrible eater. Uh, trying to clean her cage and I just dropped a rat in there really fast. So, hopefully she keeps eating live and she gets up to weight. She's only like 900 grams something, so she's not anywhere close to uh, getting, getting bread. And this beautiful lady shed this is 2021 uh superfly clown i do believe i actually misspoke about the other ones all the babies are 2021s i might may have said 2020s i'm not sure but even though she's faded out a little bit like her colors are strong super bright yellows really nice uh temperaments i'm just really excited for her for the future with her and this girl is She's hit or miss. She's a little cranky. It's a fire, fire, and she yellow belly pied. So, looking good. Uh, let's see a boa really fast. So, here is a Guyana red tail. Not the best lighting, but she does have a very, very bright blood red tail. And who else do we want to see just super fast? Whoa, nice, I didn't even know this happened. Perfect shed, beautiful shed. Look at that, all the way up to the eye caps. She's looking really good, and she's still cranky, so she still might snap at the camera. Let's get the light over here. That's the female VPI Aztec. That girl's gorgeous. I'm still trying to bond with her, but I don't think we're ever going to have a perfect bond. We'll come over here. The anacondas are doing phenomenal. 
We can see in the background a black pastel pied. This is Mountain Dew. She's getting some really nice size on her. Really cool colors. And I need to fill her water dish up because she pooped in it like every day. So I <laughs> clean that out. She knows there's food in the room. And then down here we probably won't see Miss Pop-Tart. I think she's under her water dish. The berm's doing well. Uh, I thought she was going to shed out today, so most likely tomorrow. The motley bow is doing well. I need to show her to you guys. Here's a nice little thing of food for a lot of the ball pythons. So I think we can try to feed some of them. I know some of them are uh, in shed. So unfortunately, I was not paying attention when I thawed these out. So I w I'm just going to assume... If there's some that won't eat, they'll go to the anaconda. So here is Oliver, the male green anaconda, born December-ish, 2021. Still likes to bite me, but he is handleable. Just kind of have to be careful and be aware that if he's out for too much or too long, he likes to bite. So... Let me find the feeding tongs. All right, let's see if some of these will eat. If they don't all eat, then it's really not that big of a deal. So there's a pastel. There we go. Well, <laughs> a little hungry, I would say. So these are all feeding 10 days, which I think is pretty okay. I don't know. Everybody says different stuff about the feeding, so who knows what's really true or not. This girl's in shed, so I don't know. Will ball pythons eat in shed? Some do, some don't. We'll see if she does. I'm going to go with a big fat no. It's probably a big no. We'll leave it in there. Hopefully I don't wake up tomorrow morning or come back from work tomorrow and there's a big dead bloated rat in there that smells delicious. So these are pretty big. I, I don't know. This is like half the, her size. Am I, did I get the right ones out? Look at that. That's gigantic. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Worst come to worst, I'll give her a couple extra days off. We're not going to feed her because she doesn't need any food. We'll try this girl. Before I feed her, I love the pattern on her head. Just a really cool snake. You hungry? Yep, she, yeah, she's hungry. So that's a good size. That's a good size for her. Um... Actually, I could probably feed some of these off to probably this girl right here. The IMG with a whole bunch of extras in there with her. So, I really did get out a little bit too many rats. So, we'll go ahead and feed him. Whoops, I think I scared him a little bit. Okay, okay, let's... How do you miss this thing? It's bigger than half the size of your body. Perfect. So the Superfly Clown, she rarely eats off of tongs. But we'll see what happens. Oh, now she's getting scared. A little shy. Normally I have to leave this in here. Well, she's a little curious. Not that curious, I suppose. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, she's bleeding. I mean, a rat is bleeding. So, she definitely wants to strike. I don't know if she's agitated. I don't know. We'll just leave it there. It should be gone by tomorrow. The mahogany pie is in shed. 
and he probably will not eat. So some of them are fairly large. We'll see if this girl wants to eat. Yeah, she does. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's feed the boa. Let's feed the boa this one. There we go. Perfect. And those are way too big for these moon glows. <laughs> so I'm not even going to try for the moon glow or the snow. Let's see if this girl wants to eat. This is the uh, Mystic Potion. Beautiful snake. Probably one of my favorite um, non-pides and non-clowns. Really cool patterns down her back. So she'll flip over. We can kind of see her patterns. And then we'll come down here and try to feed the black pastel. All right, we got a 2021 black pastel. So this is the second black pastel in here and she's doing really well. She went off food for a little bit, um, but nothing too serious. So she's got no spots on her at all, which is the exact same way this black pastel was. And over the two years that I've had her, she's grown quite a few spots on her. So I don't know if she will or if she'll just stay all white with the little head marking. But that is it. So a little update on the animals. And you guys got to see some feedings, which I know you guys like that. And I got to thaw out a bunch of food for everybody else. And then Pop-Tart's got to eat another one pound rat. So that'll be coming up here shortly. I believe it's been three weeks, two weeks maybe three weeks, which is good because she's not fat at all. But that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping on by. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys on the next video.